with you that he desires nobody else to know because they'll get your stuff and they'll take your stuff yeah. and they'll yeah. mess up your stuff. Yeah. That's, right. That's, it. Oh, that's right. So he's preparing them. Yes, God. Everyone that walks closely with the leader is uh, um, is, is is subject to many attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I almost have to repent and say, "God, forgive me," because yeah. sometimes I get mad at because because I, so, I look at my assistants and I be like, "God, they, they can't take all that. God, give it to me." I, I can't see them losing their jobs and, and losing their cars and you taking their houses. Why is this happening? God said because. They're connected to you and they're the next leader that I need them to be able to go through. Yeah. Yeah, I need them to be able because and, and, and even on the other hand of that has to do, I need them to be able to cover you. And if they weep, if they pox, they can't cover you. Because I get bit up every single day a demon's trying to touch me. And so if I don't have nobody close to me, they got a real prayer life and a real relationship with God. They'll kill them and get to me. It's important. It's important. Is that all right if I just talk to y'all for a little while? It's important that, 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 that we as leaders get the word down in the people. Right. Not my words, but the word of God. Because if you get the word in them, the word will back them up. The word will purge them. The word will keep them. I get a lot of inboxes. What do you think about this? I don't think nothing but the word says. Yeah. It's not about what I think. What I think is you crazy. Yes. Chasing after people that don't want you. I don't want to that Stop chasing after the people that don't want you. If they don't want you, they ain't still ain't going to want you. Because the devil knows he has but a short time. So he's pulled out all the stops and he's saying whatever I got to do. And so you got to prepare, Pastor Sims, I'm telling you this. Uh, you got to prepare them around you uh, because uh, people are going to be, demons are going to use people to try to skin them alive. I, I'm telling you, I, I know what I saw in the spirit. They, they want to crucify them upside down because they're mad that they with you. Uh, but so and now we need more than a heap of a shot and a hunch cribio. We, we need some fasting. We, we need some prayer. We, we need some Me, you pray at 12 o'clock while you on your way to work. If you want to impress me, tell me you stay up all night long on the floor. So it must be, and y'all must not be praying because y'all look at my silence in the land. It, it takes a real word because when, when circumstances challenge your faith, that is when you can see if it's really rooted and grounded on the inside of you or if it's just a feeling. Your emotions. It's not about your emotions. And, and let me tell you this: I, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm saying I'm sick of emotions uh, because the emotions need to be coupled with something. Not just you acting crazy. Because if, if, if you really think about God and what He's done for you, like uh, Minister Barbara, you you go get emotional. It's hard to think about how God pulled you out of the gutter. And, and this one 
here need to drop out of your life. Somebody need to throw their hands up. Somebody need to throw their hands up. that you are preparing a people that are going to be on the hit list of hell. You got to drill into them intensely until it's not just on them, but in them. But God, what happens is when things are going on in our life, we're so focused on what's going on. And this is what the enemy wants us to do. He wants us to be so focused on what's going on in us, but it's distracted us from what's going on around us. That's why every leader needs some intercessors. Oh my God. I stood before the church the other day because I feel my anointing going to another dimension. And I said, I need y'all to intercede for me now. Because there's some demons out to kill me. What I love about God, he'll never show nobody else before he show you first. Oh my God, he showed me. So you need people that are I'm, I'm not just talking about lead pastors. I'm talking about whatever leadership capacity that you're in. Sister Hillman, Pastor Hillman, you need people around you. He can't shut the hole. God told me right now to tell you to start having people intercede for you. Because there's some people that hate you to hell. God said, I hear him now. He said, stop talking to everybody. You, you, you don't need five mentors. My God. You don't need yeah, nobody's validation because the hell you've been through and came out of has already validated you. So you don't need nobody to tell you what you're going to be. God said you was already back 2,000 years ago. You just wait for it to be manifested. Oh, oh, so, uh, gotta get the word in y'all until it's in every crack and every crevice. Oh my God, God keeps stopping me. Nikita, Nikita, Nikita. Hmm, don't get hooked up. That's what he just said. 